Hey there guys, welcome back to your favourite football manager channel, Full Time FM, where the January transfer window is open. Let's get stuck in. Well, we've got an offer in for Tom Field of £14,000. He's going to be a very, very good left back for us. Um, been a sub for them five times, played, or seven times even. Uh, started seven. I think we have interest around Callum McFadson. That'll help um, if he goes. We're trying to take over the loan of Dan Lundulu. From Southampton because Jake Hyde has been sold. We're also interested in Connor Wilkinson. So uh yeah, we're gonna have a little little look at what happens there. Transfer windows, uh blah blah blah. We've rejected two hundred and twenty grand offer rising to three hundred from Norwich for Paul Mullin. Uh Muro Miura, the uh fifty five year old striker work permit application got rejected, we've appealed it. We've offered a contract to Izzy Brown, um, young Chelsea starlet at one point. Would be an excellent signing. He gets an A um, on that left-hand side of midfield role. But I think he's a good attacking centre mid. Let's see. Aaron James, 17-year-old youngster. A lot of ones there. He can go on a free to press that in. Uh, transfer history. Uh, we've brought in Ryan Tunnicliffe, a central midfield player, three and a half grand a week. Ugh. And Callum Harriet, another Bosman signing, 375 quid a week. Absolute bargain. Uh, so we've let Jake Hyde go for 2000 to Barnet. Um, Jake Bickerstaff left on a free as well. So the squad. It's looking pretty strong, to be honest. Uh, there are players like uh, Jacob Mendy uh, we've listed uh, for a transfer. Jezreel Davis and Naya Kirby can go out on loan as well to get some game time. Um, yeah, there are players that we're looking to move on. Now, we do have a young striker called Jaden Smith. He's just scored four goals. 19 four star potential ability. I'm going to move him into a senior squad. Um, it looks pretty good. Looks as though Southampton have accepted the loan offer um, for Dan Lundulu. And Steve Parkin says uh, Izzy Brown and Ryan Tunnicliffe. Um, it's always good to bring new players into the club and when we can welcome players of this calibre it feels really good. And would you Adam and Eva, our 55 year old super subs? Work application has just been accepted. So we're going to take him on. And yeah, he looks, uh, <laughs> he looks very decent with the technicals and the mentals and 20 natural fitness. He will be a sub. Let's see. Hopefully he'll sell a few shirts as well in uh, Japan. He got 55 goals in eight in just eight to nine appearances for Japan. Uh, so he's done quite well. And as we reject a 375 grand offer from Norwich for Paul Mullin, uh, Lundulu is going to move to us on loan. Um, it looks good. So... I think I just saw 50 grand out of 64 grand will be deducted from our trans transfer budget. Holy crap. Um, ah, Elliot Lee's out for a... Oh god, so is Jalen Boar. Um, looks like there's a flu going around. Right. So Lundulu might be quite an expensive um, loan signing. But I think we'll be okay. We'll be all right. We've got some decent players. Uh, Tom Field has signed. 
so we're doing little bits in the market right now okay guys so we hadn't made many signings before today um i think maybe a few but not not many for that will affect the first team but today three players come on to the first 11 and two come on to the bench on the bench it'll be izzy brown and ryan tunnicliffe the new signings joining Leighton, Jordan Tunnicliffe and Jaden Smith. The player we just promoted from the under 18s or under 21s, I think. Uh, Tom Field, the left back, will start for us as a full back that's going to support. Callum Harriet will be a winger that attacks. And Londulu will be a pressing forward that attacks. And I'm just thinking maybe we play Paul Mullin as an advanced forward that attacks. Um, let's submit this team. Harriet and Lundulu are suffering with a little bit of lack of fitness. That's okay. That's fine. It's going to be a good game today. I know it. Maidstone are the opponents. Um, put on a real show, boys. Van Dabby Dozy. A lot of teams play this uh, 4 2 3 1 in the non league, don't they? Good 4 4 2 for us as we're 8 points clear in Knox County. Doing fine. Doing absolutely smashing. Let's be honest, where we thought we'd be. Andy Cannon in midfield with O'Connor today. Oh my word, Tom Field. Tom Field after three minutes hits a screamer of a debut goal. The left back has smashed one. From outside the box. Oh. It's it. 25 yard out. Boom shakalaka. Quality. Absolute quality. 14 grand well spent. The signing from Knox County, I think. Oh, Paul Mullin. Callum Harriet puts Paul Mullin through for his 36th goal of the season. I think they're going to run a mock. These boys might put up a cricket score today. I was thinking of maybe doing a Brighton and Hove Albion save. Like a, uh, what do you call it? A management save. Director football save, that's the one. Oh, Gandor scores the penalty against Steven Anderson. It's 2-1. It's going to be another one of those high-scoring games again. In all honesty, I don't mind high-scoring games. kind of like them. Better than nil nil, isn't it? Oh, Harriet crosses. That's a dangerous cross. And Lundulu gets his first goal for the club. There you go. Lundulu tearing it up. Harriet. Really good wing play there. It's 3 1. We will remove the get stuck in thing. Don't think we need to. Uh, Paul Mullin on the byline. Crosses. Lundulu hits the post. Gallagher clears it for Maidstone. Oh my god. Is that Dan Gallagher, the uh, docking 
docking player it is. Maidstone. 3 1 down to the mighty Wrexham as Dion McGee plays Callum Harriet through. Oh, he's found Lundulu. My word. Dion McGee on the right wing, replacing Elliot Lee today because of a uh, flu. Elliot Lee's been sent home. But oh, my days. 4 1. Galvin puts one in. Oh, it's over the bar. Gonna be honest with you, 4 1. 57% of possession away from home. Some new signings there. Boys look delighted. It's a pretty impressive performance. Oh crap, just dropped the lens from my glasses, always good to be blind, uh, been trying to fix my glasses while I'm playing the game, maybe give them to the referee, <laughs> Freundorf for Maidstone, O'Connell clearing that only as far as Garung. Oh, he's found Gandor, but O'Connell with a great tackle. Look at McGee. Trying to find Mullin. Gonna be honest, this wrecks some save. Oh my god, Gandor scores. Hady Gandor latches onto Rory Deacon's uh, ball through. I was just about to open my big mouth and say it's not as hard as I thought it'd be. Um, well, I know what Thorpe did. Oh, Dion McGee. Absolute worldy. 5-2. Left-footed. Top bags. What a free kick. I'll be honest, I think I've built a bit of a good team here. I know it's a January transfer window, but... Um, there isn't really a transfer window in National League. Um, but however, you can get players out from other teams um, a little bit easier in January. We've not even had to make a single substitution yet. 5-2 away from home. Tom Field clears the ball forward down right footed down the field. Simpson, Sandy Cannon looking forward for Dion McGee. Unfortunately, that was cut out. Oh boy. Oh, Heidi Gandor with a hat trick. Oh my word. Oh, it's disallowed. Quite rightly so, too. There we go, 5-2. And Callum Harriet, 9.2. Uh, because he assisted uh, three of the goals. Pretty stunning. Um, 
assisted two for uh, Lundu, Lundulu and one for Mullin. Uh, Tom Field with a screamer, Dion McGee with a perler of a free kick. Outstretched arms. As good a win as you're going to see, boys. Well done. Give them like, lots of confidence. Sort of g them up a little bit, you know. And that takes us 10 points clear of Notts County, which is fantastic. Classy Harriet on form for Wrexham. That's a good debut. A really, really good debut. Um, let's see. Is that Archie Proctor? Okay, I thought it might have been Andy Proctor. Former Atkinson Stanley midfield. He was a good player. Wrexham debutant Lundulu makes immediate impact. Getting a couple of goals. Going to praise Harriet's um, passing. Sensational, mate. There you go. Transfer-wise. Um, oh. Miura joins on the 1st of July. Oh, my God. So they don't even join us straight away. Joins on the 1st of July. Oh, bugger. We're not going to need him then. Um, who's this guy? Gary Lloyd? I I didn't say yes to him. Get rid of him. Um, yeah, so we're getting rid of a couple of youngsters as well. Rowan Davis got five clubs to choose from. Um, yeah, he's not going to make it, so we'll let him go. So we'll have a little look at what the scouting budget um can find us oh hang on budget adjustment into wages and we're still a couple of grand shy of breaking even we've got no money left um increased transfer budget what do you reckon they'll do do you think they'll give it us i'm not sure they'll give it us you know um, let's see. Joe Fountain, fullback. And loan at Colwyn Bear. Thomas Key put an offering for him. That says, I'm going to love you and leave you for this Monday. Um, hopefully, we'll be uh, back on Thursday, 5 o'clock as usual. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be a good good save this I think. Let's see. Aiden Davidson Callum Harriet coaching qualification, he's only twenty eight. My word. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to um get into the football league with this team. I'm just seeing if they actually um, do give us more money for transfers. Because if they do, I think I might trade him a right back. Um, Danny Simpson's knocking on a little bit. Um, I'll have a little look at what they can do. Finances? No, they're still not giving us anything. A bit slow, aren't they? Come on, boys. What have they said? Oh well, I'll see you Thursday anyway. Take care. God bless. Bye now.